Hellos, bonjour, mabuhay, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to do a six month update review of my APC small grace bag. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. Hey loves, welcome back. By the way, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Roma and I make videos about handbags, shoes, well, mainly my luxury adventure. If you're interested in one of those topics and want to join me on my luxury adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. As I have mentioned in the beginning of this video, I am going to talk about my APC grace bag in the small size. But before that, I just want to let you know that I did an unboxing video and I'm just going to put the card just right there and also a link in the description down below so you can check that out. And I also did a first impression video of my APC handbag again the card just right there and the link in the description down below and i highly advise you to check them out first if you haven't already so you have really an idea of how it was when i have i have unboxed it and also what were my first impression before using the bag as well okay so before i'm going to give you my six months update review i'm just going to give you the specs of the handbag first so this is the APC grace bag in the small size so I'm just going to show you the bag up front so as you can see this is in a smooth cowhide leather and this specific one is in the color not brown and it has a trapezoidal shape and as you can see there is a flap closure with clasp in here here we go and it has here in the bottom a gold tone APC Rue Madame Paris logo embossed on front. It also has a unadjustable strap. So you will see in here. So there's a hole just right there and another hole in here. So you can actually wear this handbag as a shoulder bag as well as a crossbody bag. And then this handbag also have a calf skin suede lining under flap. So as you can see in here, and then inside there's a one large compartment and two additional ones. And then inside that it has a cotton blend lining. And then this one that I mentioned is 21.5 centimeters by 17 centimeters by five centimeters. And like I have mentioned, this specific handbag is in the color nut brown, and this one cost 575 euros. But of course, this handbag also exists in different colors. You will be able to find them all on the APC website and it also exists in different sizes okay now i'm just going to show you the inside of the bag so you really have an idea how it looks like so it will be a quick what's in my bag because this is the cur the current bag that i am using right now so as i have mentioned it has a flap closure that looks like so so just open it like that and then the inside looks like this so like i've mentioned earlier it has one large compartment and two additional ones so in general i tend to put everything in the large compartment so as you can see in here so what do i have in here i have my scrunchie and then i have my chanel classic card holder and i also have my asap let's say dust bag where it contains you know um what does it have um hand cream hand sanitizer and some mints and that's actually it and then in the front pocket i don't have anything in it and neither on the back part. 
so it looks like that when it is entirely empty and inside there is an APC logo just right there I don't think that you'll be able to see but there's an APC logo that is um, you know embossed on a leather and then that's how it looks like so like I have told you it's okay what's in my bag so now I'm just going to give you a small backstory why I have purchased this precise handbag and why from APC so first and foremost when you look at this handbag it kind of reminds me of a handbag from different luxury house brands so the very first luxury house brand that reminds me of this specific style is the one from Celine and most specifically the classic bag and I know that at Celine they have different sizes but I think this one really resembles the small one at least really resembles uh, from the Celine teen classic bag because that one is 18.5 by 15.5 by 6 centimeters and it's also in the box called skin so it really reminds me of that specific handbag and the only difference is that the Celine one costs as of now in 2022 costs 2750 euros and then the other bag also that reminds me of this one is the one from Hermes and that is actually that Constance 18 so that one is 18 by 14.5 by 4 centimeters and it reminds me most specifically the ever color well anyways they have the Hermes one has different you know leather but the closest one that I can think about is the ever colors specifically because that one I think is the cheapest one which starts around 5850 euros and then the last bag that reminds me of this one is the one from Dior not as same as the Celine or the Hermes one but still kind of reminds me of that which is the Bobby in the small size because the small size is 18 by 14 by 5 and it's the one in box cob skin as well I know it's not really exactly the same color but you know it's kind of kind of like reminds me of that and the Dior one costs 2,600 euros so I think you got the idea why I give you the different prices sorry that was my dog <laughs> so um, yeah the thing is I have opted for the APC one because first and foremost it kind of reminds me of those handbags so from Celine from Hermes and from Dior so I have same thing but not same kind of like handbag but not from those house brands okay just a second I'm just going to show you Marvel because you want to say hi. Come, come, yeah. Oh, I got Oopla! Hello! Dis bonjour! Dis bonjour à la Dis bonjour à la caméra! Tu veux pas dire bonjour? Tu veux pas dire bonjour? Tu veux me dire bonjour à moi? Ah, oui, oui, oh, oh, oh là là, oh là là. Quelle est-ce que tu es? Ok. Intervention. Hello, hello, mommy. Ok. Ok, you can go down. okay sorry for that so what was i oh yeah so i was just um telling you that i have opted for the apc one because yeah it kind of reminded me of those three um handbags but in short in a lot cheaper price so i mentioned the celine one cost 2750 the hermes one is 5850 and the dior one is 2600 and the apc one is 575 euros you know it's still expensive but a lot cheaper than those three and i have something that looks like that so that's why i've opted for the apc one and this specific model because it reminded me of those handbags from those three luxury house brands and now i am going to be talking about the main reason of this video which is the update review specifically six months update review and wear and tear of the apc grace bag in the small size so first and foremost concerning the wear and tear 
to be honest I don't have a lot of wear nor tear because I'm going to be honest with you I haven't used this handbag that much this last past six months why because I kind of rotate with my other handbag so that's the first reason and then the second reason was I was quite afraid to scratch the leather as well as the you know as you can see in front this gold clasp closure because it's so big and it's really prone to scratches so those two are really the main reason why I haven't been able to wear this as much as my other handbags but nonetheless I still love and adore this handbag because it's quite versatile firstly it as I have shown you earlier it has you know quite a lot of space I can really put a lot in there and then the inside is in as you can see textile lining so I won't be bothered whatever I put inside because it's textile lining the only thing though is I I'm just making sure that I do not have any pen or liquid stuff that might you know spill out inside the bag so that is the, the only thing that I really try to be you know attentive of so I also don't put any inserts inside the um, large compartment because I think since it's already have the textile lining it's totally sufficient and then if I put an insert in here it will take a lot of space so that's why I don't put any inserts and then apart from that to be honest yeah I the, the, like I've mentioned earlier the two main reasons that I haven't been able to use it is because I was just afraid to scratch the leather because it's a soft in a certain way kind of like shiny leather as you can see there and then also the buckle it's really quite big so I'm just afraid that it will scratch so to be honest for the wear and tear I don't have any wear and tear as could be inside or outside the bag but the reason is yeah like I've mentioned I haven't been using this that much for the past six months I will try to use this more often so if uh, I'll do a let's say a one-year review I think in that video I will be able to give you a more in-depth wear and tear of this handbag so now after the wear and tear I'm just going to talk to you about the pros and the cons of the handbag so let's start off with the pros so the first pro is this handbags remind me of those handbags that I have mentioned earlier which are from Celine, Hermes and Dior but in a cheaper <laughs> price tag it's still expensive I know because 575 is quite still quite expensive just for a handbag but it is a lot cheaper than those uh, that I have mentioned earlier so that is the main, the first pro the price in comparison to the luxury brands handbags and another pro is the fact that the color that I have opted this handbag actually exists in a variety of colors so the one that I have opted is the one in nut brown that I think really is a color that suits well a lot of my outfits and I can wear this handbag any seasons during the whole year because it's a color that will really you know that goes well at any at any moment any time and any occasion and also what I like about this is that it does exist in different sizes as well uh, I opted for the small one because it I can use it as a daily handbag as well as a you know a more in a more classy you know for example a dinner I can do that by you know using this because it has an adjustable strap so that is the third pro since it has an adjustable strap I can use it as a cross body handbag like it is right now and I can by using it as a crossbody 
it's more casual and then I can also use it as a shoulder bag and by using it as a shoulder bag it is a lot classier so I can use it for a you know uh, when I go to dinner and such so the fact that it has adjustable strap I can use it in a more casual way or a formal wear and another pro is the weight of the bag it has a certain weight because you know it's full leather but it isn't that heavy as uh, another bag can be I mean that because of the size the small one it's really just you know a good a good size and a good way for a, an everyday use okay so those were my pros so now I'm going to go with the cons so the very first cons that I have found by using the bag is the reason why I haven't used it that much like I have mentioned this past six months is because the the finishing of the handbag the leather as you can see it's a smooth cowhide leather so when I say smooth it's prone to scratches fortunately for me there aren't any scratches yet <laughs> but hopefully never so uh, for that reason I really tend to be careful when I use the handbag when I say be careful is that for example I have a, a jacket where there are some zippers and some buttons or whatsoever I tend to put for example my hand against my body where there is a zipper and the bag so that it won't scratch the back of the bag so that's one of the things for example that I do in case I have a jacket that has an outside zippers and then another prone to scratches is the buckle itself so as you can see in here it's a very a very nice buckle but the only thing is it's quite big and quite shiny and flat as well so it means that it is really prone to any potential scratches or even just you know hairline scratches so as for now I manage for this buckle not to have any hairline scratches or big scratches because sometimes when I'm walking when I'm using it when I'm walking for example when I wear it as a, sh as a shoulder bag I tend to put my you know my my arm over the buckle or if it's in crossbody I making sure that it is not on my back but it's in front and that it if ever I'll be you know bumping to someone or something like that I tend to put my hand in front of the buckle so that's what I do so to keep any you know potential scratch on the bag so that is the first con uh, the fact that it is really scratch prone to scratches and then the second con that I have found with this handbag is as you can see the straps aren't detachable so I am bound to use the leather strap with this handbag I cannot change it I cannot take it off luckily for me I can use it as a crossbody as well as a shoulder handbag but other than that I cannot take it off so I cannot you know just for example use it as a clutch or put another strap on it no other cons apart from those two so the last thing that I would like to talk to you about this handbag is the way that I use it so right now as you can see it's on the longest size for the strap with this one I use it as currently as a crossbody but if you watch my first impression video I mentioned in that video that I just want to use this handbag as a shoulder handbag because I don't want the leather to be ruined or at least the holes to be ruined in a certain way but to be honest I indeed use the handbag during the summer just as a shoulder bag which was quite handy but once winter arrived with you know with my coats and everything it was a 
pain using the, this handbag just as a shoulder bag because it always slips off of my shoulder which really is was quite annoying so that was the time that I have decided to use the handbag as a crossbody and ever since I think the handbag is a lot more easier and versatile to use as a crossbody especially during the winter season and then anyways during summer I can also use it as a crossbody and I think it will be a lot easier for me to use this as a crossbody because I really have both of my hands free so yeah so that's why I have currently as you can see it's in a crossbody style because like I've mentioned earlier this is the handbag that I'm using right now so and since we are in the winter it's a lot easier for me to use this as a crossbody and if you are following me on Instagram you might have seen some of my posts with this handbag I I think for the time being I have posted pictures where I was using this just as a shoulder bag but not yet as a crossbody and if you haven't seen that yet that means that you aren't following me on my Instagram yet so be sure to follow me on my Instagram I you know post from time to time my outfit of the day coffee of the day or just you know spare of the moment photo so yeah i would love you to follow me on my instagram too which is cleanche petite so my final thoughts about my apc grace bag in the small size well i'm very happy that i have added this handbag in my collection first and foremost because this handbags like I've mentioned, reminded me of those handbags from those high-end luxury house brands, but for a third of a price. So that's already a plus. <laughs> and then the versatility of the handbag, meaning that I can use it as a shoulder bag as well as a crossbody bag. And the color, of course, there's a lot of different colors that exist, but the one that I chose, which was the nut brown, it's a color that I can really use any time of the year and any moment of the day. I can use it as a daily handbag as well as a formal handbag. So even though I haven't really used it as much as I wanted to use it for the past six months, I think it's my fault that you know i'm just afraid to it might have some scratches but at the same time i think at the end of the day that is how the bag will really you know live so that is one thing that i still i think i have to work on but other than that to be honest the fact that i have added this bag to my collection was a good move <laughs> So there you go guys, that was my 6 months update review with a sort of wear and tear of my APC Grace bag in the small size. I hope that this video has helped those of you who are still on the fence of purchasing or adding this specific handbag to your collection. And I also hope that this has entertained you guys and if that's the case, please give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel and like I have mentioned earlier for those of you who aren't subscribed yet because in a certain way I'm actually looking the algorithms and analytics of my videos and I saw that let's say I think 97% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel so if you're enjoying my videos please consider subscribing to my channel and also clicking the notification bell that way you can get notified every time i upload a brand new video so until then i hope you stay safe and see you on the next video take care bye